in the United States alone, over the last seven days, the U.S. has averaged over 19,400 new cases a day. That's almost a 50% increase from the previous week. So what is this summer surge that we're seeing across the country now? What does this surge tell you about where we are in the pandemic? Yeah, um, so we're in a, I think we're in a complicated moment in the pandemic, and let me explain. Um, on one hand, things are so much better. This event as testimony to how much progress we've made. About two-thirds of American adults have gotten at least one shot. Infection numbers are way down from where they were. And yet, even in, even in the US, and the global scene is very different, but even in the US, there's a sense that in the last few weeks that this incredible progress we were making has, has sort of flattened. And in fact, things are getting a little bit worse. So why is that? The main reason is the Delta variant. The, the variant of the virus that is now widespread. Probably 90% of infections in the United States are from the Delta variant. And um, it is the most contagious version of the virus we have seen, by far. And it is really wreaking havoc in people who are unvaccinated. And about a third of American adults haven't gotten a shot. Um, obviously, kids under 12 haven't gotten a shot. There are a lot of vulnerable people, and they're not randomly distributed, right? There are communities where there are very, very few people who've been vaccinated. And so what that means is that we have a lot of vulnerability left in our country. Um, there are gonna be more variants because that is the nature of this virus and we have learned that. And you know, if you think about this Delta variant, start, variant started in India, the Alpha variant that was dominant here before then started in the UK, any place you have large outbreaks, you're gonna have more variants. And so as long as things remain as challenging as they do globally, uh, we're all going to have to continue to, to struggle with this. So um, I don't think we should lose sight of the progress we've made, which is phenomenal. But we are certainly not in a post-pandemic world, not even in the United States, let alone the rest of the world. But to hear you say there are going to be more variants, we know there are these huge pockets across the country. I think there's something like a thousand counties where fewer than 30 percent of the population, of adult population, is vaccinated. If that kind of community is going to prolong the pandemic is going to provide more opportunity for new variants. I, I recall when you know vaccinations were going up and everyone saying we're emerging from a tunnel, we're moving into a post-pandemic world. Are we really, at least here in the U.S.? Yeah, I, I would say you know that I've been a little bit surprised at um, two things, both um, how hard it has been to get that last third of Americans vaccinated. We have uh, really hit a wall nationally. We're having a very hard time. Uh, accessing and, and helping people get vaccinated that last third. We can talk about why and what's really holding that group back. Um, but until they do, I don't think we can say we're rounding the corner, you know, end of the, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, again, what we're going to see, I think, over the next six to 12 months is places that can do things like this, where we can start getting together with families and friends much more readily. Uh, but we're going to continue battling this pandemic until... 70, 80 percent of the entire population, probably more like 80 percent of the entire population, is vaccinated, and we're nowhere near that right now.